Howdy y'all and welcome back to the disco party that is Sloan's World and for our last couple of minutes I'm going to share my top five worst Halloween costumes I've seen from celebrities. Now some of these people went all out with their costumes but some of them just look weird while others are playing culture appropriation or just straight up blackface. So let's get into it. Coming at number five we have Katy Perry who is supposed to be a flaming hot Cheeto but if I'm being honest the costume looks like a red turd or a large used tampon. Like that shape just isn't flattering for anyone. And number four we have everyone's favorite weatherman Al Roker dressed as Charlie Brown which just looks really scary. I mean the man is already bald. Why did you need to put him in a bald cap? Also the hair squiggle looks like a toddler's handwriting. Sorry Al. Number three is Heidi Klum who was known for going all out with her costumes but this one just scared me. It's Heidi Klum as an old woman. It's creepy because I know it's a younger person in there and the crazy amount of attention to detail. You can see the aging spots on the fake layer of skin over her real skin. Also, she just looks like a grandma from that horror movie The Visit who asked her grandkids to get inside the oven to clean it. I'm not with it, Heidi. Here we have number two with Hilary Duff and her now former boyfriend Jason Walsh. She has opted to be a sexy pilgrim while Jason is a Native American. Uh, she made a statement and said that she was sorry to the people she offended and that the costume wasn't thought through. Lies. You had to think of the costume, find outfits, and then purchase the outfits. Your costume was thought through. And at number one, which I feel is the most infamous of them all, we have Julianne Huff, who went as Crazy Eye, a character from the hit show Orange is the New Black. It's a great show. I recommend watching it. But what I don't recommend is doing blackface if you dress up as one of the characters. I mean, she even spray painted her hair and then put it in Nubia knots. Julianne, where are you thinking? Because I honestly don't think you were. Well, my hour is up, but to be sure to check out next week's episode of Sloan's World, we'll receive what offensive costumes people are going to wear this year. Coming up now, Sporting Live with Jim Shear.